Good day. I was doing another job in the shed today and I discovered in my um, hand punch, sheet metal punch, some dimple tools and I thought that might be interesting to show. I didn't invent the ones in the hand punch but there are a couple of others that I have made up and people may find those interesting um, for, for various projects and, and ways of doing things. So this is the first dimpling tool I, I wanted to show you. This isn't my invention, this is just something that when I bought the the uh, hand punch came with it and as you can see the the front has got a uh, a, a countersink on it um, sorry, has, has got a conical shape on it and the, and the bottom of the, uh, the die that the punch goes into has got a, a countersink in it and they go in like so and so with a, a strip of metal with a pre-punched hole, this is a little bit of uh, I think it's one millimeter aluminium So with the jaws in, we can put a, a pre-punched strip in, squeeze, and as you can see I get a, a countersunk dimple. Okay, so that's one, one dimpling tool. Um, where would you use that? I'd imagine if you were trying to put, say, a, a metal strip onto a, the edge of a, of a wooden surface for example you might countersink the wood and then be able to put that in there put a countersink screw and everything will be flush the next set I have here are a set that I did make up myself uh, I don't know where I got the idea from but that's what I did now these are these are in pairs these are basically a stud to a line, which is just a dowel pin, um, a, re a boss, the diameter of the recess you want and, and the depth you want, and then another die to guide it. And so the way they work is they go either side of the, the strip like so, and then you apply some pressure. Now typically I use a, a horizontal screw press or a bench vise. So here is the the, uh, the dimple tool. Um, I've just taken over the, the bench bench vise, squeezed it, and I get a dimple shaped like that. Uh, you might use that one if you've got, say, a panhead screw or a bolt, or something like that, or uh, I have occasionally used these with, with blind rivets into the side of things so that the rivet head is flush with the panel. Okay, And if you've got something that you're trying to pivot on there, um, the, the, the lesser area there, and you can even put a, a, a mylar washer or something like that in there, makes that a bit easier to, to do. So that's the second type. And these are the sort of tool that, that I, um, I make up and I, I use every so often. This is the third type here. With this one, I didn't want to have that, that pilot hole there. Right? I just wanted to have a straight dimple. In fact, this one was for a, uh, a little button magnet that I wanted to put onto the bottom of a, a steel tray, um, the sort of tray that um, I've, I've shown in other videos, this sort of thing. I just wanted a couple of button magnets there so I could put a button magnet. I could have a steel strip on a, on a desk or a table sit that down and it would stay there. So here's a piece of steel uh, just out of the, the scrap bits and pieces bin. It's a little bit of rust but that won't matter. Uh, I'll take that over and dimple that and we'll, we'll see how that looks. So with this one it should be noted that this frame is all it's doing is keeping these two halves of, of the die and the punch aligned. So if I take that out like that you can see that that just floats. And that's all that's meant to do. Um, so it was just a bit of scrap tube I had, a few pretty gnarly looking welds, 
and go from there. But that's the dimple you then get out of that. Okay, so I can put my little button magnet in that, and uh, that'll be flush with the surface. Use a bit of epoxy uh, glue, seal off, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So thanks to those who've inspired and encouraged me. I hope this has been interesting, and uh, I hope it helps other people uh, expand their skills.